I thought we might do something just a little bit different this week and have a look at a big box PC game. This is Carmageddon from 9697, made by Stainless Software and published by SCI. And it is a racing game. Well, <laughs> I say it's a racing game. So, the objective of Carmageddon is to run over people and get points and get power-ups and do stupid stuff with your car and destroy the opponents. And you can play it like a racing game or you can just crash into everyone and get the most points and uh, knock all your opponents out, which is a much, much easier way to win. Yes, this guy on the front is Max Damage. He's the main character. He's normally got a helmet on and he looks very, very different with that. I first played this in early ooh, early 1997. There was a Watt PC, Watt CD cover disc with a demo of it on. And younger me thought this was incredible because you had a mouse cursor. And you drag your mouse cursor around and it's like a severed hand and it drips blood everywhere. And yeah, Carmageddon is uh, <laughs> arguably a brilliant game. So PC Zone have given it uh, 95%. System requirements on the box. CD-ROM, IBM PC and compatibles. <laughs> IBM PC is not a term you really see anymore. Windows 95 or DOS 6.2 or above. Pentium processor, P75, yep. 8 megabytes RAM, 16 meg for Win95 version. That's important. 20 meg hard disk space, blah, blah, blah. 1 megabyte graphics card, sound blaster, etc. Ooh, you can play it with a Mad Cat Performer or Thrustmaster steering wheel. Quad speed CD ROM drive. For this comes on CD ROM. Yeah, manufactured in the UK, partnered with Thrustmaster, Mad Cat. What else have we got? We've got some, uh, some vehicles on the side there, PC CD ROM. Uh, we'll be playing this on Windows XP, I suspect, probably in compatibility mode. Uh, mostly because the Windows 95 machine that I have set up doesn't currently have a graphics card in it. <laughs> um, because it doesn't have any AGP slots, it only has PCI. And getting hold of a PCI graphics card that works with Windows 95 is pretty much impossible. I have this uh, 8400GS PCI version, which is fine and lovely, but it doesn't work properly with my old Apricot 95 machine. So, anyway, back to Carmageddon. <laughs> the year is 2028, and you were in the race of your life. 25 maniac drivers and 36 formidable race circuits stand between you and the glory of the victor's podium. Uh, there aren't actually 36 race circuits, I don't believe. Some of them are reversed from what I remember. No limits racing or in single or six-player network modes, which is pretty innovative for the time because there's not all that many sort of six player uh, games and certainly not that many network racing games. Waste everything in your path for points and credits. As I said, a much better way to win. Forget tedious pit stops, exchange credits on the move for automatic damage repairs, blah blah blah. Total freedom to explore every circuit and all its juicy bonuses. Yeah, so you'll notice they don't mention running over people much here. And uh, if we have a look at the box, you've got all these cool cars. That's your, ah, uh, oh, what is it, Blood Eagle? That's Max Damage's standard car. And there is Max with his helmet on. Yeah, he looks a little bit different than on the front cover. Uh, <laughs> spotted Max having an accident there. Yeah, so there's a lot of sort of slightly weird humour in Carmageddon, but it is a pretty good game. Uh, smash into people you know in the frantic multiplayer modes. Yeah, so there's pretty much no mention on the box of um, all the running people over. Uh, there's also not any big uh, 18 plus logos or anything on it. So, well, let's get into a uh, SCI Limited Free Post London. Should absolutely try and register this uh, 24 years later. Oh, you can also register through the website. Uh, your PC spec 486 or Pentium. Yes. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So, Sony PlayStation, Sega Win 95, uh, Nintendo Ultra 64. Ultra. <laughs> Uh, no, why I say this is interesting, because the PS1 version of this, and the N64 version, and I think the Game Boy Advanced version as well, uh, there's lots of different versions of Carmageddon, uh, none of them are this, this is the only one that is this, 
All of the others are based on Carmageddon 2 Carpocalypse Now, except the GBA one, which is weird and side-scrolling and frankly not very good. So, what have we got in the box? Some things. Drive to Survive. Let's have a look at the user manual. Uh, the founders of Stainless Software Limited, Patrick Buckland and Neil Barnden, would like to dedicate this game to their wives, Janet and Pauline, and to Patrick's children, Juliet, Julianne and Sean. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, system requirements, yeah. Quad speed TD ROM drive. We got installing on MS DOS. Content warning. <laughs> just, just a big content warning. Uh, scenario carbon monoxide count 520% over norm, methane count 340% over norm, nitrous dioxide count 1700% over norm, ozone filtration negative, radiation levels extremely high. Uh, date 2031, the Europe, the Euro Federation Biomech Infodroid Hummed Effort. Oh, yes, I'm not that interested in this scenario. Uh, also, date 2031, uh, 2028, on the box. Okay, uh, right, what else have we got? What's it all about? Uh, <laughs> what's it all about? Nothing. <laughs> Remember I mentioned that humour? <laughs> Hmm, uh, yeah, okay, graphics options, blah, 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 yeah, there's not a great deal in the manual that's very interesting, that blurb is quite dull, playing a network game, hints for car control, the car in Carmageddon behaves just like a real car does, hmm, <laughs> we'll get to that, uh, what have we got, your opponents, yep, 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 power-ups, default controls, Exciting stuff. Credits, yep, okay. Right, enough of the manual. It's you or them, drive to survive. The year is 2028. Solar flares have contaminated the atmosphere. Uh, turning 80% of the population into wandering crowds of evil zombies. Fair enough. Content warning. Carmageddon is a very intense game when installed with the zombies enabled. Uh, under no circumstances should you let children see it in action. Um, there are a couple of different versions of Carmageddon. One with green blood and one with red blood. Um, I'm wondering if this, since it says all about zombies, this might be the green blood censored version. Not entirely sure. I guess we will find out. Uh, oh, what have we got here? Tips book. PC's own tips book. Special splat back offer. Flat pack, Carmageddon only, both only. £40, very reasonable. What's in the tips book? Level 36. Final track, 36 beef curtains. <laughs> Pedestrian, bovine count, 260, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what have we got? Halfway to hell, mines complex. Pedestrian count, 610. 4.7 miles. Uh, level 1, Main Street. Watch out for parked cars, speedy collisions wreak havoc with crap armour. Piece of piss. Follow the road and cause mucho carnage along the way. Thank you very much, PC Zone. We appreciate that. And the last thing in the box is the game itself. Carmageddon, PC, CD-ROM, SCI, blah blah blah, and Max going into hyperspace on the background. Yep, that is, uh, that is kind of your lot. I do love the... Uh, the CD printing on uh, mid 90s CDs, and they're just more interesting. Yep, that is a game. Okay, we've got the XP machine all hooked up and ready to go. So let's get into a. Give it a minute to uh, read the disc. <laughs> As with all of these old CDs, sometimes they take a little while. So, some faffing about happened, and it looks like we're going to have to run this through uh, DOSBox for XP. And we're into us. So, the controls for Carmageddon are... <laughs> you've got use of the mouse, but they're uh, not WASD, and you can't ever map them to WASD because S is blocked, so you have to play with the uh, number pad. And this is the cursor I was talking about. Man, that is perfect. Look at it, modern games just don't have this. <laughs> anyway, new game. Uh, Max Damage or Diana? Let's play as Max. Yep, let's go Max. As easy as killing bunnies with axes. 
So, Main Street, yep, part shop, change car, what have we got? Uh, Red Eagle, not Blood Eagle, just the Red Eagle for now. Uh, where are we? Change race, view info, let's view info. Yep, Bleak City, pedestrian count 525. Right, let's start the race and uh, see where we get. Come on, Max, hurry up and load so we can play with you. Right, position on grid. Well, that's, that's, yep, we can only go there. <laughs> Many racing. Yep, yeah, Carmageddon is one of these games that there's just nothing else like it. And it is very, very strange. I can see why uh, Carmageddon 2 is the one that got a PlayStation port rather than Carmageddon 1. Because it is pretty violent. Yeah, so this is not the uh, the censored Green Blood Zombies release. This is the full-bodied uh, European English Let's Have Lots of Violence release. Where are we going? I feel like we might have gone off course here. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, we've made a big mess. Yeah, so the physics in Carmageddon, a little bit on the strange side. Uh, your car's quite heavy. I think heavy is an understatement. Uh, obviously, at the top of the screen, you've got profit, kills, etc. And uh, your profit is what you can spend on new parts and vehicles and power-ups and respotting in-game. Yeah, so back in 1997, this was uh, widely considered to be one of the uh, the most violent games around. But it didn't quite garner the controversy of things like the first GTA. Uh, how do we how do we respot? Recover car and yeah. Uh, somehow I've accidentally put it in nice and fluffy mode, which means there are no pedestrians. It's just racing. So you'll see the uh, the pedestrian kill counter has gone away. Not completely sure how I've done this, but you know, this is the danger of bashing buttons on 90s DOS games. Yeah, this uh, this should work perfectly fine on things like Windows 95, but uh, XP just means we've got to run it through DOSBox. That's it for Carmageddon then, and what a nice trip down memory lane that was. Or horrible trip down memory lane, or something down memory lane anyway. It's good to know that uh, even though it doesn't say it is, this is the, uh, the full-bodied European release with all the extra blood and things. So if you want to see uh, more big box PC games, let me know because I have got quite a few of them. Not all perhaps in as nice condition as Carmageddon, but mostly complete and worth a look. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Subscribe.